Sherry and Sharon, ready for action. And the Green family. Kenneth, Susan, Ken, Patty, and Peggy. On your mark, let's start the family feud. With the star of Family Feud, Richard Johnson. Thank you. Well, how sweet of you. Thank you. Uh, I should warn you, I don't do anything on the first date. What a lovely audience you are. Welcome to all our friends at home. Will you welcome a family who's doing so well? They have almost $2,000. Their names? What? The Wade! Hi, Claudia. Hey, Hi, Claudia. $1,931. Well, that's good. That's good, huh? That's good. That's sure. Good. Third time here. Remind me of all the nice people. I know that's your Okay, daughter. this is my daughter, Belinda. Right. And that's Mary, my sister. And that's Sherry, my niece. And that's Sharon, my other niece. Sure. you have any other children? Yes, I do. I'm glad you asked. Oh, I'm glad you asked. I have a son named Henry. He's in the Panama Kazoo in the Air Force. <laughs> Panama Kazoo? <laughs> He's in Panama in the Air Force. Oh, the Panama Zoo. Yes, right. Is that nice there? He likes it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. How long has he been there? He's been there one year this month. When's he coming back? He'll be in August of this year. Well, you'll be after wealthy. Four years. You'll be able to have a four years yes, there? After four I years. I felt safe, though. It's good knowing he's there. Yeah, you're safe. Give him my way. love when you write to him. I will. Well, you'll be able to call him with all this money. <laughs> yeah, right. How you doing? Fine. What's the one thing you'd love to do if you had a television show of your own? What would you like to do? Sing, dance? Act. Act? Yes. We'll do a scene together. Okay. <laughs> Belinda, I love you. I love you too, darling. <laughs> Well, good for me. I thought you were Hi, Mary. How are you doing? You're the actress. Yes. You're a mama and you're a delight. You yes. get up there and play that fast money? Yes, I How have. How many children all together? I have five children and a granddaughter. Seven years old, that's Sherry's daughter. Yes. These two girls were born ten months apart, and I didn't have a birthday between them, and they're not twins. <laughs> It's gotta be a riddle that I, you're a mama? I didn't know that. What's your baby's name? Her name is Tracy and she's out in the audience. She can, will you introduce me to her a little later? Okay. Does she have a jewel in her nose? No, she doesn't. Yeah. I'll leave that up to her when she grows up. Good girl. How are you, Sharon? Fine. You're gonna play Fast Money if you get up there? Uh, not today. You're gonna try somebody else. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Here's the family gonna try and stop you doing that. They're called the Green Family. Family. Thank you. Have a good time here. Who you got with you? I have my daughter Susan, her husband Ken, my daughter Patty, and Ken's sister Peggy. Okay. What do you do, sir? Well, I'm the director of counseling services at California State Polytechnic University, Pomona. Two dog. Two dog. That is very good. Yeah. So what do you do? What sort of you counsel students? Students, or? right? Personal problems, academic problems. That sort of thing. That's nice, Gene. You could work out something here and see where your life's going. We welcome you to our show. Thank you. Susan, my Hi, love, how are you? you? I see so a very nice. lovely ring here. I know you probably gave it to yes, you. Yes, he did. Do you have a family? We have a little girl who's 15 months old. Ah, Keith is very busy. Blow her a big kiss. Mm, Leslie, hi. Mm -hmm. What do you do, Ken? I'm a farmer from Imperial Valley. I raise lemons, grapefruit, and uh, alfalfa. I lower lemons, grapefruit, and alfalfa. <laughs> We're almost in the same business. <laughs> Look at little Patty breaking up. She's the only one out of all these people. See, he raises them, and I... How are you, Patty? Hi, thank you. What do you do? I'm a secretary. Oh, well, I was going to say that. What do you do? I work at the University of California in Santa Barbara. Did he get you the job? No, he didn't. Oh, good girl. Why, do, why don't you want to say you're a secretary? Because I was going to say I'm a credential program assistant. Well, say it. I'm a credential program assistant. <laughs> She's not really. She's a secretary. <laughs> Peggy, how are you? Fine. Tell me something about Peggy. I work at Doctors Hospital in Lakewood in the business office. Yeah. I just moved back to Southern California from Idaho. You have cold I'm glad hands. Glad to be here. <laughs> um, it's cold in here. <laughs> yeah. You're not nervous, are you? Um, no. Of course. Nothing to be nervous about. All nice people. All we want yeah. you to do is win. Come on, let's play the face off. You know how this works? We survey 100 people. The top six answers are on the board. You have to try and find the most popular answer. This is the question. Name something that happens to you when you're frightened. Kelly. 
Kenneth. The shake. The shake. We're looking for shake. Oh, 28 people. Be number one. Play, play, play. We'll play. We'll play. He's counseled them. They're going to play, Claudia. Go on back there. We'll see how well. Susan, name something that happens to you when you're frightened. You sweat. <laughs> you we like get to, sweaty, uh, you know? We like to say perspire. Perspire. <laughs> We're looking for sweat. Nine people, thirty-seven dollars. Four answers remaining. Ken. Your knees knock. That's right. <laughs> you old farmer. Knocking knees. Uh, Not there. Doesn't mean it didn't happen. It just didn't make our top six answers. That's your first strike. Two more strikes. The dreaded weeds have a chance to steal. Pat it. You scream. Yeah. Have you ever been ah. that frightened? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> ah! Scream. Fifteen <laughs> people. Peggy, what happened? Something happened when you get frightened. You think. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ah, yes, you're a swooner. I see that. We are looking for fate. <laughs> Not there. That's your second strike. You decided to play. Two strikes on you. Three answers remaining. Kenneth? Cry. Name something that happens to you when you're frightened. You say cry. If cry's there, you're still alive. Show us cry. <laughs> you got it. Who <laughs> done? You bite your nails. Oh. Bite your nails, okay? If that's there, you're alive. If not, the ladies get a chance to steal. Bite your nails. Uh, you can do it. Talk it over. Uh, your heart your heart why, why are you whispering now? Come back here. Your heart your heart your heart 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 I need an answer. Your heart beats fast. <laughs> You're so scared, your heart just beats faster and flutters, faster and faster. Flutters. flutters. We're not doing a spin-off. Oh, okay. I got the idea. Okay. okay. The old heart beats faster. Right. Right. It does. We are looking for a fast-beating heart. If it's there, the $58 is yours. If it's not there, the Green family get to keep it. Show us a fast-beating heart. <laughs> Number three, please. Oh, yeah. Goosebumps. They've got $58. The first family to get 200 gets to scream. We've got a commercial! Come on, Susan. Come on, Belinda. You ready? Surveyed 100 people. The top seven answers are on the board to this question. Name someone with Lee in their name. Susan. Lee Marvin. Lee Marvin. He's a good actor. Let's see if he made the survey. Lee Marvin. <laughs> Thirteen people said it. Two answers even more popular. Belinda. I believe his name is Lee Majors. Lee Majors. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. You know who he is? Yeah, he's an actor. Six million dollar right. man. Yeah. He's very popular. Let's see if he made it. Lee Majors. Play, 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 play. Yeah? Yeah. Little Sharon was the only one who wanted to play. They ignored you. Okay. We'll see if the strategy works here. Ken, name someone with Lee in their name. Robert E. Lee. My goodness. Haven't heard from him for years. Looking for Robert E. Lee. Most popular one. Thirty-four dollars, sixty-nine there, Patty. Lee Grant. Lee Grant. Marvelous actress. Let's see if she made our survey. One hundred people surveyed. Did any say Ms. Lee Grant? <laughs> Good, I never thought you'd do that. Peggy. <laughs> um Lee Merriweather? Lee? Oh, I hate it yes. when farmers applaud. She's a darling lady. Let's mm. see if she made our survey. We are looking for Miss Lee Merriweather. <laughs> Twelve people said it. Eighty-five dollars. You aren't doing so well. Two answers remaining. No strikes so far. Kenneth, someone with Lee in their name. Peggy Lee. Peggy Lee. Mm. This good family. Great songstress. Let's see if she's there. Miss Peggy Lee. Oh, wow. 
dollars. You can make it right now. Clean sweep, little Susan. F. Lee Bailey. That is great. I couldn't think of one to save my... I hope it's there, because it's a too. great answer. <laughs> and I'll rest my case. Ladies and gentlemen, the jury, F. Lee Bailey. <laughs> wow. At your first strike, only one answer remaining. Ten. Vivian Lee. Vivian Lee, yeah. Now that's pronounced Lay. L-E-I-G-H. Marvelous actress. We'll see if she's there, okay? Starred as Skull of O'Hara. Gone with the Wind. Vivian Lee! Gone but not forgotten. Two strikes. Patty, do or die situation now. Get it as a clean sweep. If you miss and strike, the way's got a chance to steal. Someone with Lee in their name. Three seconds. Johnny Lee. <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? I feel so embarrassed. Johnny Lee! Talk it over. You can do it. Don't whisper. They can't listen. Okay. okay. Lee Van Cleef. Lee Van Cleef. We're going with... That's Lee Van Cleef. Need an answer. That's her maiden name. Well, Need an answer. Lee Van Cleef. Right, that's a man. That's yes. an actor. Yes, it is. Why did you say that's not her no, name? That's it's a man. Else. We're talking about somebody else right oh, now. Oh, did I interrupt something? Yes, that's all right. Please. Lee Van Cleef. I just dropped in for an answer. Okay. <laughs> He's a great actor, and he took Clint Eastwood's place. There's a lot of movies. He did. He did. I Lee remember. Van Cleef. Is it there? Uh, Let's see, number six. Oh, uh, we don't want to think about that. We've got a commercial and we'll be right back. Can we see that the Greenlee family have $88? The Waisley family, $58. Come on, Mary. Come on, Ken. Mary and Ken. Sounds like a new situation comedy, doesn't it? <laughs> Can a farmer find happiness raising alfalfa? Barely. Thank you. Barley. I'll die alone. Barley, yeah. good girl. These are the writers, folks, and I wanted you to meet them. I want to tell you now the dollar values are doubled on this, so this means it could decide. Thank you, Kenna. Keeping you honest. Keep that hand behind there. This could decide the winning family. We surveyed 100 people. The top four answers are on the board to this question. Give me another word meaning easy. Ken. A cinch. Ken, the farmer says it's a cinch. Seven people said it, fourteen dollars in the bank. One answer even more popular, Mary. A snap. Just like that. Just like that. Like That's right. right. Taking a look, and we want to see a snap. Oh, wow. Well, she gets it. Hey, we'll play it. Come back here. <laughs> What'd you say? They would like to play it. Well, let them play it then. Okay, go on, Mary. You've never denied them that, have you, Ken? Hi, Patty. Hi. Just two answers. The most popular, and then the number four answer. Another word meaning... That's simple. Oh, she's a bright lady, isn't she? You don't think so? I think it's a great answer. Simple. simple. If we woke you, we're sorry. <laughs> Your fingers crossed. Patty said it's simple. $93. 83 people out of the 100 said it. That's the now little Peggy mm -hmm. of Mandarin fame. <laughs> Where did you get this little jacket? Um, the Mandarin Village of Bullocks. <laughs> really? Yes. It's very nice. Mandarin Village. <laughs> yeah. Made in Bullocks. You're right. Very nice. One answer. Uh, breeze.
Well, if breeze is there, it means that a very strong wind is going to come along and <laughs> wave goodbye to the waves. Are you ready? Yes. Let's take a look. Is it a breeze? Here, you got $58 plus $1,931 and our undying love. Thank you for being here. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Bye-bye. Bye, baby. Don't play fast money. Come on. Who's going to go first? Oh, what a sweet person. <laughs> Off you go. Okay. Ken and I are going to stand here, we'll watch a commercial, and then we'll see if we can win $5,000. Well, I'm here with old Ken the farmer, and your wife Susan's off stage, can't hear anything, has earphones on. They're playing El Martino records, so we've got to get her out of there as quickly as we can. I ask you five questions. This is how we play Fast Money. You give me five answers in 15 seconds, okay? You try and think of the most popular answer. And if you and your lovely wife, Susan, can get 200 points, you got $5,000. Okay? I want you to do it. 15 seconds on the clock, please. The autumn Britain. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Time will start when I finish reading the first question. Name a kind of party that is thrown once a year. New Year's Eve party. An expensive hobby. Uh, hunting. Something that tastes sweet. Sugar. A sport where you use a paddle. Uh, ping pong. A brand of mouthwash. A scope. That's five. <laughs> Turn around, you can. See how well you did. How many acres do you look after? Oh, about a thousand. A little over a thousand. Wow. This is a long walk, everyone. You ready? <laughs> so we'll buy you a big van if you win this. <laughs> we said, name a kind of party that's thrown once a year. You said, New Year's. That sounds good to me. Our survey said, Fifty-five. Fantastic. An expensive hobby. You said... Hunting. I didn't know that was expensive. A lot of guns. Well, like, yeah, I guess you got to rent the deer. <laughs> Our survey said... We would have needed two people to say hunting to make our survey. They did not. You still have 55, though. Something that tastes sweet. You said... Sugar. Our survey said... You got 77. One of the sport where you use a paddle. You said ping pong. You play that game? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> well, he doesn't lie. Our survey said. <laughs> you don't mess around with the answers that you give. You got 130. And then I said, one of the brand of mouthwash. You said, scope. And our survey said, you, uh, you're fantastic. Come here, Don. You've married a very smart man. I know that. You only need 17 points. Oh, Ken! Walk back. You ready? I'm going to ask the same questions that I asked your husband. You cannot duplicate his answers. He gave us great answers. If okay. you do duplicate them, you hear this. I'll say try again. We'll give you extra time. Remind everyone, please, the answers that Ken gave us. Give me 20 seconds on the clock, please. You're 17 points away from $5,000. Name a kind of party to the throne once a year. Christmas party. An expensive hobby. Skiing. Something that tastes sweet. Candy. A sport where you use a paddle. Canoeing. A brand of mouthwash. Listerine. What a good job. Turn around. Oh. Did you? Yeah. 
And you gave good answers. 15. 17 points away. Oh, Ken. Name a kind of party that is thrown once a year. He said... New Year's. New Year's. You said... Christmas. Christmas. 17 points for $5,000. Our survey said... New Year's was the number one answer. An expensive hobby, we asked. You said skiing. You're 14 points away now. Our survey said... Contestants receive the original rival crock pot. Slow electric cooking and stoneware. Cooks all day, no turning, burning, sticking, or stirring. Timing is never critical. Rivals crock pot. And be everything you can be with Mary Kay Cosmetics. Skin care and glamour cosmetics presented to you in your home by trained beauty consultants Mary Kay Cosmetics, Dallas, Texas. And Prince Gardner, matching leather accessories. Smartly styled for fashion conscious men or women, a perfect gift to find name Prince Gardner. And you can choose your wall hide, latex, flat wall paint from the beautiful colors in Pittsburgh's paint design or color system. Hundreds of today's colors from Pittsburgh's paint. This is Gene Woods speaking for Family Feud, a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production. 